You are tuning in live with the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now, <laughs> this has been brought to my attention again by a loyal subscriber. I actually have one of those. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So, Jason Blaha has made a video on Kelly Body, I mean, Kino Body about this creatine fiasco going on. Now, like, like Blaha says, you know, there are tons of creatine monohydrate products on the market. Creatine monohydrate's been around since forever, since I was a kid. This is nothing new. Um, every variation of creatine has already been made. I'll say that again. Every variation of creatine has already been made when it comes to, you know, putting things in it that actually might do some benef something beneficial. You know what I'm saying? Um, creatine itself, now I do say you don't need supplements, but if you're gonna use a supplement, use a supplement that works. Creatine is one of those supplements that does have some effects. I'm not gonna dig into the science of all of that, but it works to a certain extent. Um, for a certain po population of the planet, some people doesn't work for them at all. Then don't use it, don't buy it, don't waste your money on it. Don't let people like Kino Body put out his new proprietary blend with estrogen blockers and all this other shit. You know, like, like Blaha said, you know, I, yeah, I guess hell is freezing over because I am agreeing with some of the things he's saying. Everyone knows your estrogen is too low, that knocks your body off. That's, that's, anabo that's not anabolic. You need estrogen to work, you know? You need it. You need estrogen. A certain amount of it, normal amounts, okay? Females have a lot more estrogen than males do, but males have estrogen, all right? So by taking these, you know, he's he's using propaganda. I have, I have estrogen blocking creatine. So you're gonna be taking this shit. You're gonna be lowering your estrogen. That's gonna knock your body off of wax. So once you knock over that first domino, what happens? Other dominoes tend to fall after. So what is one of the leading things that kill people? Organ failure, organ disease, cancers. You leave your body susceptible when your body's not performing at its optimal, when you're not, your body's hormones aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Your body doesn't function. Cancer is when a, a cell wants to pretty much die off and then be replaced. Well, that dying cell seems to not want to die. Then the new cell that's coming to replace it doesn't really have a place to go. So that old dead cell turns into a cancerous cell, then it grows and it eats the new cell. Something like that. It's something similar to that. I'm not a, I'm not a doctor like that, so don't take my word exactly for it, but I've heard doctors, you know, that's pretty much what a cancer does. And that only happens when your body's out of whack. When your pH balance is low, your estrogen's too low, it knocks your pH balance too low. You're putting too many of these, these canned goods into your body, these supplements into your body. Well, it fucks you up. Bottom line, stay away from it, kids. I don't have to go into the science of it. There's a lot of people out there who do. But I'm telling you right now, firsthand, leave that shit alone. Don't let these, you know, these snake oil salesmen, they, they throw fancy shit in your face, nice expensive cars, girls with bikinis with their ass out in their house, a bunch of showmanship to get you on board with their program. <laughs> and then they sell you bullshit which undoubtedly might fuck you up. Guaranteed, it might fuck you up. It's a guaranteed might. <laughs> because, you know, some people, you know, your body just doesn't work well with these substances. And, <clears throat> you know, once you get into the, the trend of putting one thing in your body, now you're putting another thing in your body and another thing. You get what I'm saying? And another thing, he's, you know, like his, you know, his whole schmo about Fasting? Fasting for three days? Really? No, 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 no. You're not going to lose more fat by fasting three days. All you need to do is keep your fasting go, you know, like a regular intermittent fasting interval. You know, some people like to go eight hours. Some people might, might like to go six hours. They shift it from time to time to fit their schedule. That's all you need. You don't need to go three days of starvation drinking nothing but water and coffee because he also sells his own coffee. You're sitting there starving yourself out drinking this black coffee. And black coffee does things to you too. That's a stimulant. And coffee itself, if you drink it and you're, and you're, you're not getting your nutrients in, coffee itself can be bad. Because now you, if you're doing this three-day fast over and over and over to try to lose weight, now you're putting this coffee and now you're getting the bad effects from coffee because you're probably taking too much because it does it does stunt your, um, your appetite. So you're going to take more and more and more. You're just fucking yourself up. And then you say, okay, well, I don't want, I want to take some of this creatine too. And then he might have another product to put out there. I've got the BCAAs. 
Oh, I got this protein powder. So you're just putting all these powders inside your body. And then one day you wake up and you're feeling really irregular. I'm not talking about taking a shit. I'm talking about you're feeling really irregular. You got pains where you shouldn't have pains. You're feeling groggy. You're feeling out of whack. You, you can't focus. You know, like some of these guys sell these products. I, I put stuff inside of my proprietary blend to make you help you focus. And you're, get out of here. All you need is a good, a good meal and a good night of sleep. You're going to wake up with all the focus you need. All right? Water, food, a good workout, sleep, good food, whole foods. Because some people think McDonald's is food. McDonald's is not food. It's a food-based product. Don't let these snake oil salesmen like Kelly Body, I mean, Kino Body, feeds you this crap. You know what I'm saying? And I'm only making these type of videos for one, the clickbait, and for two, because I actually give a fuck about you people. Because I could sit there and jump on the same bandwagon and say, yeah, you guys should try that shit. And then one day I'll come up with my own fake ass. Man. Look, this is all fitness is about building a brand. I'm, you know, everyone wants to build a brand. I want to build a brand out of this also. But it's different when you have people who take steroids and drugs, allegedly, giving you advice versus someone who's done the, the shit naturally since day one and continues naturally since day one. You know what I'm saying? You're getting shit from someone you can trust. You're, not, you're never going to hear me say, go three, four days fasting and do some crazy shit, knowing that the guys who do that, they're taking drugs. People fasting for three days, yet you're in the fucking gym doing crazy workouts, crazy lifts, talking about intensity. And if someone else can't seem to keep up with these amazing feats that you're claiming on the internet, then oh, you're just not working hard enough. You're not doing this. You're not eating enough. So now they're not eating enough. But then you say you got to go on a three-day fast. And they, oh, it, it's, it's a big fucking vicious circle of bullshit. Don't fall for it, people. Don't fall for it. Be smarter than that. I'm trying to tell people. Every you got you got Kelly ba Kino Body, Blaha. You know what I'm saying. I even seen um was Ken, um Kino Body's boy Brandon Carter, the fraud. It was one time he was telling people, you know, if you can't get your calories in for the day, drink um olive oil. Drink um yeah, drink extra virgin olive oil. And he was on camera drinking olive oil to get calories in because it's calorie dense. And I'm like, what, what idiocy is this? Drinking olive oil to get your calories in. What are you talking about? You can just go get you a nice slab of steak and some rice and fill your belly up for the calories. Liquid calories don't do anything. Liquid calories don't make you feel full. You know what I'm saying? You could drink a thousand calories worth of liquid calories and be starving a few hours later because your body is not getting the nutrients from it because anything that has that many calories to give you a thousand calories doesn't have the vitamins and minerals inside of it needed to give you what you need to sustain in the day <sighs> so people come on it, it's like i always say common sense is not all that common and the fact that i have to come and play cleanup behind guys like this you know, it's ridiculous. This dude shouldn't even exist. He shouldn't even be big enough on YouTube to even put out this false propaganda. Take, you know, come on, man. Come on. All of these guys are taking drugs. Can you not see that? Can you not see it? Some of us can. Some of us can't. Or some of you can't. Because I see right through it. You know what I'm saying? The advice these guys are giving is about as useless as an ashtray on a motorcycle. <laughs> but what do you need it for? It doesn't do anything but hurt you in the end. All right, I'll say it again. You need a solid whole meal, whole foods, your fruits, your vegetables, get your greens. Then you need a solid workout and a good night's rest. That's all you need in consistency and a decent workout program. You know what I'm saying? A decent workout program. Meaning you need to be hitting enough sets and reps. You need to be doing the right exercises. Overhead presses, rows. Do some kind of, if you don't like, I don't like squats. So, you know, if you like doing squats, do squats. I'm a martial artist. I don't want to jack up my knees. You know, you tend to fuck shit up working out. I fucked up my shoulders a lot of times. So when it comes to the legs, I'd rather do leg extensions. Because I'm not trying to have the biggest legs in the world. So leg extensions, enough reps of that, it does enough for me. All right, so it's not about the big three. Some people want to have a big deadlift. I don't want to take the risk. Every person on YouTube I've seen has slipped a disc and messed up their back doing deadlifts. All of these guys, 
that the only reason their longevity even keeps them going, you see them back in the game next month, is because they're taking low doses. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of gets your body back in the game slightly. They're taking all this shit, insulin and growth hormone, but at what risk? Because now your liver's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Your kidneys are fucked up. Your heart's fucked up. Steroids affect your brain. Your whole body chemistry is off. So leave this shit alone. You know, these these frauds out here promoting these crazy workouts. Alpha Destiny. All you Alpha Destiny fans watching this shit. Yeah, you, you, you're fanboys to a fraud and you're an idiot. I'll say it. Because no one else seems to have the the uh, integrity to say it. No one seems to give a fuck. Everyone's just like, you know what? I want my money and I want it now. Oh, I want to be your fanboy. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, you, you're promoting this? I'll do it. And then you end up jacked up. Meanwhile, I'm making solid gains. Shit. Push-ups. You can do 300 push-ups a night and get yoked. I heard, I heard guys back in the day saying push-ups don't do nothing. You know how many push-ups you got to do? To give them, like, you know how fun it is to kick back in your crib and uh, turn on a cool movie or pump up the music, hit a bunch of push-ups and get fucking jacked? That's like an hour worth of fucking just a cool-ass event. Just pumping up those push-ups. You hit out 200, 250, 300. Fucking flexing in the mirror, getting pumped. You know what I'm saying? Not very many people want to even put in that type of work. It takes work. You know what I'm saying? It takes work. But, uh, seems like people don't want to do the work. But that's all I want to say about this, you know. Do, um, damage control, because these guys are, they're, they're, this, like I said, the fitness industry needs a reboot, and I'm here to reboot it. I'm Neo in the Matrix. So, with all that said, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym. Do work and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only fun? But the phony niggas in the bar. Say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.